Hello, my name is Jake. Today I'm going to be talking about something different for the channel. I'm going to be talking about um, my heart palpitations that I've been experiencing since 2016. Uh, I know there's a lot of you, whether you're Christian or not, there's a lot of you out there who experience stuff like this. So I wanted to make this video just to kind of talk about my symptoms and the things that kind of make it worse. Now, I'm not going to recommend anybody any kind of medication in this video because I'm not a doctor and I don't feel comfortable doing that. But I will tell you, I do take uh, propanolol for, to help out. And sometimes it helps, sometimes it don't. But I'm not going to recommend medication because because that's something that you got to go to your doctor about. And I strongly encourage you not to take medical advice from me. You need to go seek out a real doctor and make sure that your heart is healthy if you're experiencing any of this stuff. I'm just telling you about my symptoms and I'm just telling you about um, just a little bit about some of the things that makes mine worse and you know you might want to think about for your own life now this is a scary thing there is something called pvcs and pacs and this is the symptom that bothered me the most i would get uh palpitations i would have a fast heart rate but i would get pvcs and pacs and basically um they're really extra beats it's like your heart beats in a normal pattern like this like this, like this, and all of a sudden one, one beat comes early and then it causes the next beat to have a dramatic pause before it hits and contracts. Because of that, it is felt like a big thud in your chest when it contracts because when your heart fills up with the, when it, when it takes it longer to contract, it fills up with more blood. When it fills up with more blood, it causes you to feel it a lot more aggressively. So you're actually feeling the you're not actually feeling, the big fudge you feel is not actually the extra beat. It's actually the next beat that you're feeling. So that's something that I learned from listening to the cardiologist. So I will always think that painful beat is the skip beat, but it's actually the beat that comes after the skip beat. But anyway, um, so this would frighten me and still sometimes when I get these things, it still frightens me a little bit. I'll just be honest with you. Um, but you know so you want to go to the doctor if you get these things and just go on ahead and get some of the tests like the heart monitor and the echocardiogram um so the cardiologist can tell you you got a healthy heart i don't want to tell somebody over the camera you got a healthy heart because i don't know but you know go, so if you're worried about it go get checked out at the doctor because they'll do the test and figure out what to do um you know the doctors can't cure this problem but they can at least give you a little peace of mind that it's whether and how dangerous it is um, I still experience it at times I'll tell you the things that makes mine worse uh, tremendous amounts of stress and anxiety uh, you know having lots of panic attacks or lots of anxiety high amounts of stress and anxiety fear uh, worry um, outburst of anger it, and now i try to control this because i'm a christian but getting angry and getting aggressive a lot and just having like really outburst of anger is something that will definitely cause more of these sensations also too much exercise a lot of people will tell you that exercise is a good thing if you get pvcs for me personally I find that if I do too much exercise and I get overly exerted, it actually makes this problem worse. So I would say if your doctor's told you you're healthy enough to exercise, that you can do it, but I wouldn't overdo it. So for me personally, I don't overdo my exercise. I, I, I know when what my limit is because sometimes it does make this worse uh, for me. Now, again, this is my experience, so like I said, don't take medical advice from me, but um, this is just giving you some ideas to think about. Certain foods make this worse. For me, gluten does. Uh, eating a food that's like high in gluten and wheat makes mine worse. Uh, my dad does have celiac disease, but I've never, I, they told me I don't have it, but for some reason, gluten makes my heart race. Um, Causes me to have more palpitations. Chocolate is really bad for me. Uh, things like pizza, ketchup, things that really give you acid reflux is worse for me. Um, there's also possible things like um, electrolytes and uh, sodium levels and water levels could play a role. But for me personally, 
I've tried magnesium, potassium, things like this before, and I've never noticed any improvement whatsoever from trying those things. But that's just my experience. So, um, yeah. But it's, it's really hard, though, because anxiety is one of the things that makes this bad. But every time you get a PVC or a PAC, it gives you a tremendous amount of anxiety. So you get one, and then you ha it cuts, sends you into a panic attack, and then you get more. And uh, they make my chest hurt, too. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to share this, um, and I'm going to end with a scripture. Psalm 27, verse 14. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. May the Lord heal you. God bless for watching.